Good morning, everyone. How are we today? We bless the name of the Lord for our life. We are here today by His grace. Hallelujah. Father Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, we bless you for another Friday, O oh Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have been doing in our life. We just worship you, Lord, for you are the God that never changed. My Lord, my God, we thank you, Father, for bringing us into another brand new day today, O oh Lord. Father, have your will, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are going into your world today, O oh Lord, Jesus, come and speak to us and touch every soul in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Father. Deliver us from the hands of our enemy today in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever they have planned, let them scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Worship you, Lord. We bind every forces of darkness, every evil mirror. Let them be destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus. What satellite that they are using against us, O oh Lord, we disarm them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil network, we disconnect them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take preeminence in everything that we want to do today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, O oh Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us sing uh, this 582. Do we know it? Rock of Pages. You know it? Okay. Let us sing uh, 1072. In Christ alone. My hope is found. Want to go in Christ alone. My hope is found. Is my light, my strength, my song. Is gonna stone. This only ground fell to the face of drought and storm. What height of love, what deep of peace, when fears are still, when strife cease, my comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who to conflict, who does a crooked bless be this gift of love and righteousness come by the one he came to see. Day on the cross, as Jesus died, the right of God was satisfied. For every sin on his was laid, here in the death of Christ I live. There in the ground. His body lay, light of the world by darkness lay. There was him forth in glorious day, all from the ground he rose again. And as he stands in victory, since God has lost his grief for me, for I am his, and he is mine. But 
what we did, did precious blood of Christ. No gift in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. When I first cry to find a breath, Jesus to command my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of mine can ever pluck me from his hand. Every time, oh, cost me hope. Yeah, in the power of Christ, I stand. No power of earth, no scheme of mine can ever pluck me from his hand. See, he me home, yeah, in the power of Christ I stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let us also sing 1168. Everyone have, sorry, everyone need compassion. 1168. want to go. Everyone needs compassion, love that never failing. Let messes follow me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a Savior, the hope of nation. Savior, he come of the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. He was a conquer the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So tell me, me how you find me. me. All my fears are failure. Give my life again. I give my life to follow. Everything I believe in. Now I surrender. Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Water of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light and the world see. We are singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and the whole world see. We are singing for the glory of the risen King. Savior. He can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Daughter of salvation. Heroes that conquer the grave. Jesus conquer the grave. Let us sing 1151, Amazing Grace. 
want to go. Amazing mm -hmm. grace, how mm -hmm. sweet the sound I say, a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. This grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious be the grace that here we are our first belief. My chains are gone, I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed me. I like a flood. His message read, unending love, amazing grace. The Lord has brought me good to me. His words, my hope, seek yours. He will my feet. A portion be as long as life and joy. My sins are gone, I've been set free. My God, my Savior, I on me. And like a frost, his message reigns. Unending love, amazing grace. My tears are gone, I've been set free. My God, my Savior, arrest on me. And like a flood, his message reigns. Amazing love, amazing grace. I shall soon dissolve my snow. Yes, I forbear to shine. But God who called me here below, we Forever, mine. My chains are gone. I'll be set free. My God, my Savior, arrest on me. And like a flood, His message rings. Unending love. Amazing grace. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord God, we bless you this morning. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for we are we are weak, but you make us strong. Father, Lord, we bless you. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, because there is no one like you, Lord. No one that can give strength. Nobody can give life. Nobody can can, can uh, protect father you are the only god that can protect even those that are, have security that have uh, physical security their security still fail them but you never fail lord father we thank you we thank you father for this morning for in jesus mighty name we worship amen our brothers and sisters we are going to the book of psalm 40 this morning, Psalm 40. Can you read for us, please? Psalm 40. Psalm 
It's unfortunate. Yeah. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he appealed to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of a merry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, mm. and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise mm. to our God. Many will see it and fear, mm. and they will trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust yeah. and does not respect the proud, yes. nor such a stone aside for to lie. Amen. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are your wonders, wonderful works, which you have done and your thoughts toward us cannot be reckoned to you in order. Mm. If I would declare and speak of them, mm. there are more that can be numbered. Yeah. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. Mm. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and the sin offering you did not require. Mm. Then I said, Behold, I come in the scroll of the book, it is the writing of me. I delight to, to you. I delight to your will, O oh my God, and your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. Indeed, I do not restrain my lips. Oh Lord, you yourself know. Mm. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. Mm. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. Thank you, Jesus. I have not concealed your love kindness Amen. and your truth from great assembly. Amen. Do not withhold your tender mercies for me, O oh Lord. Amen. Let your love kindness and your truth continually preserve me. Amen. For in innumerable evil have surrounded me. Amen. My iniquity have overtaken me, Amen. so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hair of my head. Amen. Therefore, my heart Hurts me. Be pleased, O oh Lord, to deliver me. O oh Lord, make hearts to help me. Amen. Let them be ashamed and brought to me through confusion, Amen. who seek to destroy my life. Amen. Let them be dragged backward and brought to dishonor, Amen. who wish my evil, who wish me evil. Amen. Let them be confounded because of their shame Amen. who say to me, aha, aha. Amen. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Amen. Let the such a love your salvation say continually. Amen. Their Lord be magnified. Amen. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. Amen. You are my help and my deliverer. Do no delay, oh my God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The topic is delight to do the will of God. He said, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. When we wait upon the Lord, we're continually doing his will, continually following his commandment, obeying his voice. Why will God not hear our prayer or hear our cry and answer us? David was in some kind of trouble, 
but God delivered him from it. So he said, delight to do the will of God. You should be happy to do the will of God because he's the only one that can save us. He said, he brought me up out of the pit of the of destruction, out of the mary clay. And he sets my feet upon a rock, making my footstep firm. Hallelujah. It's only God that can make you to stand as a human being. Because the enemy wants you to die. The enemy, enemy wants you to, to go out from the world for them not to see you again. When they are still hearing of you, even now, they are still hearing of you or hearing of me, they are not happy. But their money or their energy have been exhausted in Jesus' name. God has destabilized their plan. Their plan B will not work. Hallelujah. He said he put, and he put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear, and we and we trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. A new testimony, a new song, a new uh, word, miracle that God is doing in your life. When people will see it, those that say, oh, they thought it is finished. When they hear it, they will even be surprised. And I pray that those enemies that are pursuing you, your God will be their God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Verse 4, he said, How blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust. Hallelujah. If you trust God, how blessed are you? You don't value anything in life again. You don't trust in the voodoo man, or you don't trust in Buddhist, or you don't trust in a Muhammad, but only you trust in the Lord. He said, he has not turned to the proud, nor to those who, who laughs into a falsehood. You are not in, 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 the, in the company of a occultic man or occultic woman, or you are not uh, serving any other, any other God apart from your God. How would the Lord not be happy to do your, or to answer us, or to answer you. He said, many, O Lord my God, are the wonders which thou hast done. And thy thought towards us, there is none to compare with thee. If I will declare this, if I, if I will declare and speak of them, they would be more numerous to count. Hallelujah. Just look at from the day you were born. Maybe you will not, you will not know apart from the tell the story, but look at maybe from the age of six or seven. Just count from that time to this very particular time. What God has been doing for you, how he has been protecting you through your nursery school, through your primary school, through your secondary, through your university, through your marriage, and now you are even a grandparents. You involve in an accident, as accident if somebody else enter or happen to somebody else, that person is gone. But God deliver you from it. He said, count your blessing and see what the Lord has done. We cannot even count it. We can't finish counting it. My brothers and my sisters, we are using Psalm 40 this morning. So you just see what the Lord has done in your life and even in the life of your family. You started giving birth to children, a little boy like this that was in your palm those days, looking for how to feed. But now, he or she is also giving birth. How mighty is our God? 
He thought it is finished with you, that no job, nothing. But when people are being sacked, you are getting a new one. You are getting promotion. When people don't have food to eat, but you have enough. Our God is too mighty. Verse 6, it says, a sacrifice and male offering that has that has not desire. Uh, my ears thou hast opened, burnt offering and sin offering thou hast not required at all. God did not need anything from us. He did not need uh, uh, money from us. The money that we, the offering that we give in, to the church is just for the maintenance of the church. Not that God knows it. I mean, sorry, need it. He did not need it. But he said we should do it so that food may be in the house. Because like this pandemic, people like we now, people are calling us. Oh, we know that you are a church. Or we, even from India, from any part of the world, they are calling from Nigeria, from Africa. They are calling. We need help. We need help. Help us. You are a church. They regard, I mean, church as a charity. Yes, it is a charity. So that is the money that we are giving, like offering and tithe, that is what it's made for. Hallelujah. God did not require it from us, but even we did not so give it. We are not giving it with obedience, but he still continually uh, protecting us and providing for us. Then I say, behold, I come. In the screw of the book of, I mean, in the screw of the book, it is written of me. I will do thy will, O oh my God. Thy Lord is within my heart. Amen. He said he will do the will of God. I will do the will of God. I will do what he said I should do. We should do what God said we should do. Hallelujah. In order for him to protect us, in order for him to guide and provide for us, we have to do his will. We don't know what the... the how the, the human government in the world are taking where they are taking us to now, but ours is to do the will of God. They can say something today, tomorrow is another thing. Or say something tomorrow, next tomorrow they say a different thing because they are not sure. They are only just trying to imagine or pretend to do whatever they can do to see if there is a solution there. The only solution is in Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 9, it said, I have proclaimed glad tidings and righteousness in the, in the great congregation. Behold, I will not restrain, sorry, I will not restrain my lips. O Lord, thou knowest. He said he will not keep saying something about God about giving testimony of what he have done. Do you know that even as we wake up this morning, it's a very great testimony for us because many people slept, they never wake up. Or some are even struggling inside ambulance this morning. Praise God. Or some are struggling to even use the loo, go to the restroom, they cannot. But you just wake up, you went to the bathroom, you do everything. You want to take a cup of tea or you want to eat. Some already have eaten. But it's our God that is doing it. He said, I have not hidden thy righteousness within my heart. I have spoken of thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not uh, conceived thy lovely kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. He haven't swallowed it. What God, the testimony that is given, his faithfulness, everything that surrounding, how he protected him from danger, from King Saul. 
who is your king Saul that is pursuing you today? My brothers and my sister. There are many king Saul over there. There are many Jezebel over there that want to pursue your, your Elijah. Praise God. He said, but with God, all things are possible. Thou, O God, will not withhold my compassion from me. Thy lovely kindness and, I take that again. Thou, O Lord, will not withhold thy compassion from me. Thy lovely kindness and thy truth will continually preserve me. Our God is not a liar. It's only with a lie because we are men or we are women. Because we are human beings. God, our God doesn't lie. It's not a man that he should lie. Hallelujah. He says his truth continually pre I mean, preserving him. The evil, the evils beyond. The evils beyond number have surrounded me. Sorry, for evil beyond numbers have surrounded me. My iniquity have overtaken me so that I am not able to see. They are more numerous than the hair of my head and my, and my heart has failed me. Hallelujah. The sins that we committed, he was also, uh, David was, it was also, it was also describing it as, see, they are more in number. He cannot even count it more than the hair of his head. If we see what our heart is planning, what our heart is doing, though if you did not carry out, it's not a sin, but the one you carry out, the one he carried out, how many people that David killed? But God still say he's a man after his own heart. Because he know how to, to let me use the word, to bribe God. David know how to bribe God. If he know that uh, he sinned, somebody tell him he sinned. He, he will not allow that pride to take him and say, why are you telling me this? He will just hide himself inside the house and ask for forgiveness. And he know how to praise God too. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. Make haste, O Lord, to help me. God is going to help us today in Jesus' name. He said, let those, let those be ashamed and humiliated together who seek my who, who seek my life to destroy it. Anyone that seeks your life or your children's life to destroy it, your destiny, God is going to destroy them in Jesus' name. He said, let those be turned back and dishonored who delight in my heart. Anyone that wants to see your faith, your, your pain. Do you know that people want to hear bad news about you? They want to see that, oh, he doesn't have money again. They want to see that, oh, he's homeless. They want to see that, oh, there is no more job. They want to hear it. But that is not what God meant for us. It's not our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, let those be appealed because of their shame. Who say to me, ha ha, everyone that is laughing against you. They shall be confounded in Jesus' name. I think that is how King James wrote it. Let me see verse 15. He said, let them be, okay, let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that say unto me, ha ha. Say, let them be desolate, let them be scattered. Let, let their land never bring out water again. Hallelujah. Verse 16. He said, let all, let all who seek the who seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let those who love thy salvation say continually, the Lord 
be magnified. We pray for the Lord to be magnified in our life. We love our God because he is our protector. Hallelujah. He's our creator. It's everything that we have. Sometimes I regret why I didn't serve, I mean, start serving God from the beginning. But it's not so my fault because in Africa, you cannot decide. At about 10, that was when I, I was struggling to, to serve God. But my mom, by then, my dad was no more. My mom, they never give me that chance. But thank God today that uh, Gosti uh, fetched me out. He did not want me to perish. Hallelujah. So verse 17. He says, since I am afflicted and needy, let the Lord be mindful of me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. Hallelujah. Our God will not delay to, <clears throat> to supply all those things or to answer us in Jesus' name. We are going to start praying now, my brother and sisters. There are things that is here, even as you heard it, you will know that our God what our thanksgiving because he's our protector. Let us open our mouth right now and start thanking him. He said, I, I waited patiently for the, for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. Let us thank him for hearing our cry today, for hearing our supplications, for listening to us and answer our prayer. Let us now continue to pray to him, to thank him. Father, we thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name this morning for everything that you have done once again, O oh Lord. For as we cry to you, we are waiting upon you, O oh Lord. And you hear us, you hear our cry, and you answer us. My Lord, my God, we just thank you. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. Jesus, we thank you over our life, over our children, over everything that concerns us, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, we just thank you. We bless your holy name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. He said, he brought me out of the pit of destruction. I don't know the problem that God has brought you out from. I don't know even what the enemy are planning now, but God knows it all. We are still going to thank him for delivering us from that very pit, from that death, from that sickness, from that accident. Continue to thank him right now. Lord Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We worship you, Father, for delivering us, O Lord. You did not allow the plan of the enemy to harm to happen to us, O Lord. Jesus, we bless you. We, we thank you, Lord, Father, Lord, for delivering us, for removing us from that pit, for that pit of destruction that they have dug for us. Father, Lord, you are the God that removes us, O Lord. You are the God that protects us. You protect our, our steps, O Lord. You make us to stand, Lord Jesus. You make me to stand, O Lord, that I can say I will never be backslide by the, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, you make us to stand firm, my Lord God. You did not allow that destruction. The enemy want to take us away for us to go, uh, for us to suffer in hellfire. But with you, O Lord, you did not allow to, that to happen for us. That destruction that could have happened, that could have destroyed our life and destroyed everything around us. Father, Lord Jesus, you hold us firm, O oh Lord. My Lord, my God, we bless you this morning. We thank you, Jesus. We worship you only, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to pray with verse 3. He said, he put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Let us now continue to pray for that testimony that we have that we have uh, received before for that great miracle that is also awaiting us. Continue to pray right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I also thank you for the testimony that you have given me, O oh Lord, for giving me a new name. Father, Lord Jesus, we bless you. Many people, they don't even know me now as, uh, as my first name. They say, oh, pastor, it's God that did it. It's not me. Some people, they may not even, you may not be a pastor, 
you are we, you you should be happy that people are also calling you a grandma or grandmother or I mean a grandfather or they are giving you a different name uh, the mother of doctor that is not your name but because God have elevated your children God have elevated your uh, your yourself that is why you have now got that new name continue to praise him and say Lord Jesus I thank you Father I bless your holy Lord for giving me a new name for giving me a new life Father Lord Jesus I bless your holy Lord I worship you Holy Spirit for everything that you have done in the mighty name of Jesus I cannot thank you enough oh Lord Jesus we just bless you we worship you Father we thank you Jesus for all that you have done and what you're ready to do in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Verse 8, he said, I delight to do thy will, O Lord, my, I mean, O my God. Thy Lord is within my heart. Let us now pray and say, Lord, let, don't let the, any foul spirit remove your word from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let any foul spirit, O Lord, remove your word from my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, Lord Jesus, don't let, let me continue to do your will, O oh Lord, according to the way you have directed me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, my brother, my sisters. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, let me continue to do your will. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord my God, let me continue to do your will today. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't want to serve any man may God, any God of the world. I don't want to serve it, O oh Lord. It's only you, Almighty, that I will do his will. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I don't want to serve any man made God, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, Jesus, have your way today, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, we are going to pray with verse 11. He said, O oh Lord, sorry, thou, O oh Lord, will not withhold thy compassion from me. Thy lovely kindness and thy truth we continually preserving me. We are going to pray and say, Lord, let your divine protection never depart from us. Depart from us, depart from our children. Wherever they may be right now, continue to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, continue to preserve us, O Lord. Continue to protect us. Continue to guide us, O Lord. Continue to provide for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your lovely kindness of truth never go out from me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your truth abide in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, let your truth, O Lord, abide in us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your lovely kindness continue to protect us, O Lord, and preserve us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The verse 12 says, For evils beyond numbers have surrounded me. We are going to pray right now and disconnect every evil network that has surrounded us, wherever they are. That evil man that want to kindle that fire, that want to kindle that trouble, continue to pray right now and say, Lord Jesus, I destroy their weapon right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil plan, every evil that has surrounded us, my Lord, my God, Jesus, we cancel it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever they have done at night, whatever they have agreed, Jesus destabilizing, scattered them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil man, evil woman, from my father family, from my mother family, those witches and wizards, wherever they may be, anywhere they are hiding, Father Lord Jesus, disarm them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord God, expose and disgrace them in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. Every evil, every trouble that surrounds us, O Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the only God that has the solution. Father Lord, bring solution to every problem, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every trouble that the enemy are using to face us. My Lord God, Father Lord Jesus, disband them, O Lord, and scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray with verse 13. It's, um, yes, verse 13. It says, be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. Make haste, O Lord, to help me. Continue to say that within yourself right now. And say, Lord, be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. Deliver me, O oh Lord, and make haste to help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever they have planned, my Lord, my God, deliver me, Father. Deliver me, O oh Lord, and make haste to help me. 
Do not delay, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O many present, O many potent God, deliver us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, from every trap of the enemy, from that accident, in the mighty name of Jesus, that financial bankruptcy. Father Lord, deliver us today, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, deliver us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord Jesus, deliver us, O Lord, deliver our children. Make haste to help them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make haste to help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The verse 14, it says, Let those be ashamed and humiliated together who seek to who seek my life to destroy it. Let me read that in uh, okay, uh, King James Version. It says, Let them be ashamed and be confounded. That I mean together that seek after my soul to destroy it, let them be driven, driven back and put to shame that wish me evil. Continue to pray that prayer, my brother, my sister. That very track, I mean, sorry, that very verse is very strong for us to pray with because there are many people that are planning evil against us. Even last night, even today, they want to execute a uh, bad thing against us. Continue to pray right now and say, Lord Jesus, let them be ashamed and be confounded. That and let them be ashamed and be confounded together that seek my, my, my life to destroy it. Those that want to destroy my soul, those that want to destroy me, wherever they may be, oh Lord, let them be ashamed and be confounded in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their, let their work continue to work against them in the name of Jesus. Their plan, let it continue to go against them. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, all those ones that are that have planned evil against us, I pray for every every man or every woman that are on the line right now. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anyone that have planned evil against them, oh Lord, Jesus, put them to shame, put those enemy to shame, the enemy of their life, Father, put it to put them to shame right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let them be humiliated. In the mighty name of Jesus, all those that seek. Our, our life to destroy it, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, let them be humiliated. Let them be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be put to shame, O oh Lord, and let them be dishonored in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, Jesus, let them be dishonored in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are quickly going to pray and say, Lord, that is the, uh, the part B of... Just a minute, please. Okay, the part B of that verse uh, 14. It says, let those be turned back and dishonor who delight in my heart. There are some people, they are happy when you are in sorrow. When something bad happens to you, people are happy about it. Continue to pray right now. I say, whatever they have planned against you, let it go back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, all those that are happy for my sorrow, those that are happy for my soul, for, for my for my pain, my Lord, my God, Father, Lord Jesus, let that pain be upon them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The gladness will never be upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will never know peace in the mighty name of Jesus. All those that are happy for, for me to be hurt, O Lord, or for me to be in pain, for me to be in trouble, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, Lord, let them be ashamed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all of them be dishonored in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, have your way. Even those that are laughing, that I say, oh, we have already caught him. My Lord, my God, Father, let them be ashamed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Disconnect them, O oh Lord, every evil network. Continue to disconnect them right now. My Lord, my God, every evil network, I disconnect myself from them, O oh Lord. Whatever gadget the enemy are using, I disconnect myself right now in the name of Jesus. I disconnect our children, O oh Lord. I disconnect every man or woman that are on the line right now from every evil network that the enemy are using against you and your children. I disconnect it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray, he said, uh, verse 17. He says, since I am afflicted and needy, let the Lord be mindful of me. Thou, thou art my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, oh my God. Continue to pray right now. That the prayer that you have been praying, you have been praying since you know Christ, 
There are some prayers that you have even been praying since that time. God hasn't answered you. Continue to pray and say, Lord, this time around, do not delay, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do not delay to answer us today in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, do not delay. <clears throat> answer us speedily, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do not delay to answer us, O Lord, all our prayer. Lord Jesus, do not delay to answer us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's quickly pray for those that are sick. And say, Lord, do not delay to answer them, to heal them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord, God, Father, Lord, do not delay to heal me, O Lord, to heal that man, to heal that woman, to heal everyone. You, we all need healing. If you don't need physical healing, you need spiritual healing. If you don't need uh, spiritual healing, you need financial healing. Continue to pray right now. And say, Lord Jesus, I need healing in every department of my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. All those that are sick physically, my Lord, my God, Father, Lord, make them to be strong today. Do not delay to heal, to heal them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We God bless you, Father. Soak yourself in the blood of Jesus right now. My Lord, my God, we soak ourselves in your blood today. Father, glorify yourself, O oh Lord, in this day, O oh Lord, being the fourth day in the month of June 2021. Father, glorify yourself today, Lord. We surrender everything to you, O oh Lord. I commit every family into your evil hand right now. Jesus, cover them with your blood, O oh Lord, and protect each and every one of us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, my brother and sister, God will answer you. Distance is not a barrier. As far as you can hear my voice, as far as God is there where you are, God can also answer you. And as far as you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, don't doubt. Have that faith that no matter how it is, no matter the distance, God is there to hear your cry. And he will answer you today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless us all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the evening, our brothers and sisters, we still have uh, the hours of prayer from 6 o'clock and from 7 o'clock. So the fresh uh, morning devotion is also coming very soon. God bless us.